Hare Krishna, dear devotees, thank you for joining today. We wanted to seek the blessings of Brother Mother, Brother Shamsundar, Krishna Balaram, Brother Gopal, Gornitai, Shri Prabhupada, Guru Maharaj, and the Assembly devotees. It's continuing with um, sessions on Radharani, although we're not qualified in any way, shape, or form. But um, by the blessings of Guru Maharaj, we will try to share something. Radha's transcendental form is like an ocean of nectar. Shimati Ratarani is expert in all the fine arts. Her splendid bodily luster is like the yellow pigment, Gorachan, Gorachana, molten gold, or stationary lightning. Mm -hmm. Interesting, stationary lightning. She wears wonderfully beautiful blue garments. Blue because of Lord Krishna, who's also blue. She's decorated with various pearls and flowers. She's very beautiful and has long, nicely braided hair. She's decorated with a garland of flowers and a beautiful pearl necklace. Her splendid forehead is decorated with the red pigment, Sindhu, and with beautiful locks of curling hair. Decorated with blue bangles, her arms have defeated Cupid's staff with their beauty, decorated with black mascara and reaching back almost to her ears. Simadhi Radharani's lotus eyes are the most beautiful in all the three planetary systems. Her nose is as beautiful as a ses sesame flower and it is nicely decorated with a pearl. She is anointed with various perfumes. She is splendidly beautiful. Her ears are decorated with wonderful earrings and her nectarian lips defeat the lotus, red lotus flowers. Her teeth are like a row of pearls, pearls and her tongue is very beautiful. Decorated with a nectarian smile of pure love for Krishna, her beautiful face is as splendid as millions of moons. The beauty of her chin has defeated and bewildered the demigod Cupid. Decorated with a drop of musk, her chin appears like a golden lotus flower with a bumblebee. <laughs> Bearing all the marks of wonderful beauty, her neck is decorated with a string of pearls. Her neck, back and sides are enchantingly beautiful. Her beautiful breasts are like two splendid water pots covered with a bodice and decorated with a necklace of pearls. So this is a description of Shimati Radharani. So her hands, she has lots of markings on both her hands. So on the left hand, she has the disc, the elephant, gold, the fan, the fan, the gold is there, horse, tree, Gomata, there's a flag, an arrow, javelin, see? Lifeline, fate line, fortune line. So 18 symbols. And on the right hand, she has the conch, the gold. Interesting, it's in both palms. Palace, sword, whisk, bow, drum, bolt, cards, picture, lifeline, fate line, fortune line. 35 symbols in total. Prabhu, what's a, what's good and uh picture sorry picture is like a uh, water yeah you know contains water pouring okay. gold is like uh what is that gold is like a weapon as far as i remember um and then it's something to put for drive the elephant put in the e yeah and yeah. something connected with the elephant so that they can move further walk Maybe, yeah, just looking it up. No, no, 
Yeah, you're right. It's, it's, it's right. It's right. It's spiked it stick. drive an animal with a spiked stick. So yes, it's to control the elephant. Yeah, good. Well done, anyway. Is that okay, uh, Sha Shama Malini? Yes, Prabhu, thank you. Okay. Her beautiful enchanting arms are decorated with jeweled armlets. Her arms are also decorated with jeweled bracelets and other kinds of jeweled ornaments. Her hands are like two red lotus flowers illuminated by a series of moons that are her fingernails. They are decorated with many auspicious markings such as the sign of the bumblebee, lotus, crescent moon, earrings, parasol, sacrificial posts, conch shell, tree, flower, chamara, swastika. That's interesting because we didn't see that in the palms. So I'm a little confused by that. Anyway, these auspicious marks are manifest in various ways on Shibati Radharani's lotus hands. Her splendidly beautiful fingers are also decorated with jeweled rings. Charming, full of sweet nectar and decorated with a deep navel, Shimati Radharani's beautiful waist enchants the three worlds. Her sloping hips lead to her charmingly beautiful slender waist, which is bound by a creeper of three beautiful folds of skin and decorated with shash of tinkling bells. As beautiful as two exquisite plantain trees, her thighs enchant the minds of Cupid. Her beautiful knees are like two reservoirs filled with the nectar of various transcendental pastimes. Her beautiful lotus feet are decorated with jeweled ankle bells and her toes with toe rings, as beautiful as the treasure of Varun. The auspicious markings on Shimati Radharani's lotus feet include the signs of the conch shell, moon, elephant, barley corn, rod for controlling elephants. So that's the gold. Chariot, flag, small drum, swastika and fish. So here we go. It's a lotus feet of Radharani. Umbrella. Uh, where did the umbrella go? There is. Ari disc. Watch flag, flag, valley, twig, flowery twig, pushpa, flower, valayan, jude, bangle, padma, lotus, ud, udva, rekha, upward line. What line must be this one here? The gold on Kusham Arden Ardendu Half Moon What is that? Ah yeah, thank you. We have one barley corn, which is where is that? There you go. Okay. Not there. Hmm. Shaktim spear. Shaktim spear somewhere. Club Kadam. So she also has a club. <laughs> Kadam. There you go. Chariot. Siandanam. There you go. Ready sacrificial altar. Pundala earrings, Matsya fish, Parvata mountain, which is there, Dar Daram conch. So, all these different things are on her lotus feet. In the Radha Prakarana, of Ujjwala Nilamani, Mani. It is said that Sri Radhika's body is composed of Mahabha, the greatest of all Sakhis. Shaktis is the Ladini Shakti. Therefore, it is called Mahashakti. Of that, the essence is Madan, which is the zenith of Mahabha. 
Sri Radha is the embodiment of that highest Mahabha, this conclusion is well established. In the Gopal Tara, the Pani, she is glorified as Gandharva. The, this daughter of Vrishabhanu has very beautiful form and wears 16 items of beautification, Shringar, and 12 types of ornaments of Harna. An example concerning her beautiful form is given in Ujjwala Nilamani, wherein Sri Krishna says, O oh Radhe, the locks of your hair curl beautifully, and you have a lotus-like face with elongated, lustrous eyes. Your chest is adorned with lovely love and firm breasts. Your waist is attractively slender. Your head is bowed slightly in modesty and your fingernails are like rows of jewels. Your beautiful form is a festival of elegance and sweetness that crushes the vanity of the three worlds. <laughs> Concerning her 16 items of beautification, Shubhal says to Sri Krishna, after bathing, Sri Radhika decorates the tip of her nose with a refulgent jewel. She dresses in blue clothing with a shash, nivi bandhana, around her waist. Her hair is uh, plaited and she wears ornaments on her ears. Her limbs are smeared with camphor, musk and sandal paste. She wears flowers in her hair and a garland around her neck. In her hand, she playfully carries a lotus flower. In her mouth, in her mouth she has tambula. That must be pan, right? Mm. <laughs> and on her chin, a dot of musk. She wears kajala around her eyes. And on her cheeks are musk paintings of dolphins, etc. The bottoms of her lotus feet are painted red, and she wears tilak on her forehead. <laughs> Concerning her 12 ornaments, Subhal says, Sri Radhika wears a diamond on her head, golden earrings on her ears, tiny golden bells around her hips, a golden locket hangs around her neck. She wears a chakri salaka, an elaborate ornament that encircles the entire ear and fastens at the top over her ears, bangles, and on her bangles on her hands and a necklace around her throat. There are rings on her fingers and a group of star-like necklaces on her bosom. She is adorned with jeweled armlets, jeweled ankle bells, and a and radiant, oops, um, sorry, radiant toe rings. She's very beautifully, she's very beautifully wearing these 12 ornaments. So this is uh, interesting descriptions by Subhal to Krishna. Her age is eternally in the middle of Keshoda period, 14 years, 2 months and 15 days. It's interesting to know that 14 years, 2 months and 15 days, her eternal age, she never grows older than that. She has a strong feeling that Krishna belongs to her. Krishna is mine. It's not the other way around. I am Krishna. It's Krishna's mind. So that's a very powerful feeling. And that is called Madhiyata Bhav. As well as Madhusnaya. A very sweet, affectionate mood. Pretty. So um, that's, that's quite a lot here. I think uh, we'll continue tomorrow because there's quite a bit uh, in terms of who are her beloved, who are her beloved. So let's take that on tomorrow because there's quite a lot here. Any uh, questions, any comments? Prabhuji, all these markings on her hands and the feet, do they signify anything? They are spiritual. Maybe it must be spiritual markings, but do they mean anything? Anything the, right, anything yes, they do. Level. Yes, 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 they do. And I think um, we went 
we've gone through some of these markings because they're similar ones on Krishna. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we went through some of those some time ago. Okay. I can't remember um, which presentation it's in. We'll try to dig it out. Okay. And it, it's it's a good thing to know, actually. Um, might take a few days or a few weeks <laughs> to okay. dig it out. That, that's no worries. That's fine. <laughs> we will that's try. Fine. That's but fine. Yes, that's... Each, each one has, has a significance, uh, especially when it comes to... Especially... When it comes to um, Chaitanya and Nityananda, there's a lot of significance because they they come for us, and all of those symbols have really huge meaning for us. But uh, okay. even Krishna's has as well. So, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you for asking. Anybody else? Anything else? Okay, we can stop there. Krishna's always eight look like eighteen, isn't it, Krishna? Krishna's age, I think, was sixteen something, right? 15, oh. 15 close to sixteen age. Something oh. like that. Yeah, he's about a year or a year and a bit older than da, da, da. Yeah. Eternally eternally looking that way. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Prabhu. Shimati Radhanikiche. <laughs>